Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the bidirectional sampling gates, but this time bidirectional sampling gates are made up of diodes. In the previous videos, we came across unidirectional sampling gates with diodes and bidirectional sampling gates with transistors. The meaning of bidirectional or unidirectional is what type of signal that can be reproduced at the output from the input. Okay, suppose if the input waveform consisting of both positive and negative polarities, if the input consists of both positive and negative polarities, if you are using a single diode here, then diode will come into on state for only positive supply. Okay, suppose if the diode is connected in the reverse biaser condition, then it will be coming into on state for only negative supply. At that time, we will be having either positive or negative. Only one polarity will be reached at the output because of the usage of single diode. Okay, that is the unidirectional sampling gate. The same can be extended by taking the same input with both positive and negative, which is now transmitted through a transistor that can produce both positive and as well as negative at the output. Okay, it is not missing any of the polarities. So that's why it is a bidirectional sampling gate. The same can be now implemented with the diodes. Here, the first case is using diodes. Second case is using transistors. Third case is using again diodes. But here, this time we are going to use two diodes. This time we are going to use two diodes to transmit both positive and as well as negative, not only one diode. Okay, these two transistors, uh, these two diodes are connected together to the input supply so that both positive and as well as negative signals can be transmitted to the output. That is the main idea of this bidirectional sampling gate using diodes. Okay, see this is the circuit diagram which is used to transmit the input signal both positive peak and as well as negative peak to the output. See the circuit is arranged like this. This is the input source Vs. This is the input signal that is what we are going to be sample at the output and along with this input there we need two control signals like VC here and VC here. But if you observe clearly these two control signals are having opposite polarity. This is positive negative and this is negative positive. Okay, positive negative and negative positive. This control signal which is having positive and negative, the positive peak is applied, positive signal is applied to diode D1 and a negative peak is applied to the ground. And similarly, the negative peak of this, negative potential of this, negative polarity of this control signal is up given to the diode D2, but the positive polarity is connected to the ground. If you observe clearly, the diode D1 is connected in the forward bias condition and whereas the diode D2 is connected in the reverse bias condition. So if you want to switch on the transistor diode D1, definitely you should give positive potential here. And if you want to switch on this diode D2, definitely you should give negative potential here. So we are making the arrangement in the similar way that the D1 is in on state and D2 is in on, on state when the, when the control signal is switched on. Okay. And the output is these two are connected together at the point P and given to the RL. RL is acting as a load resistor across which we are taking the output. Now, there are two resistors we are using R2 and R2. These two resistors previously they were capacitors. The standard circuit diagram has capacitor. If you want to see the circuit diagram, go back to the previous videos and see there we have used a capacitor here. But now we are using the resistors. The capacitors are replaced by resistors. And the input signal is given connectively, like these two are connected together, and then we are giving through the Vs, positive and negative. Okay. The circuit better for better understanding, the circuit is just redrawn like this. We see, see this. Remember this branch, this particular branch. And this is the point A. This branch we are taking onto the left hand side. 
okay and this branch going to be taken on the right hand side going to be taken on the right hand side then the point way point a will come on to the left hand side point b will come on to the right hand side and point p will come to the center as well as the input voltage source will come to the center see this is the circuit diagram what i have explained in the previous slide the circuit is redrawn as c this is the point where we are having the output potential p and this is a this is b and the control signals are having minus plus and the here it is plus minus whereas the input signal vs is connected between both the resistors r2s and p is the point where we are having the center between diodes d1 and d2 at which we are taking the output across v rl okay assume assume a is with minus vc and b is with plus vc okay assume that the vc see here vc we are giving control signal voltage control voltage here also it is control voltage assume that it is having negative peak and it is having positive peak then a is at negative potential b is at positive potential a at negative potential b at positive potential makes the diode d1 and d2 both in off state because the d1 p terminal is connected to negative d2 n terminal is connected to positive so the, there the diodes d1 and d2 are in off state so diodes d1 and d2 are in off state diode d1 and d2 are in off state then what is the output v0 is equal to 0 there is no output and similarly similarly a is equal to plus vc and b is equal to minus vc a is equal to plus polarity and b is equal to minus polarity so plus will switch on the transit diode d1 and this minus will switch on the diode d2 as both the diodes are in on state then here the input current will be flowing in this way and as well as input current will be flowing combined currents are going through this particular load resistor rl so that there will be a voltage drop across this rl because rl is having some value and when current passes through this rl definitely there will be a voltage drop across this rl so v naught is equal to that current i into rl this is something like i is equal to i1 plus i2 this is i2 and this one is i1 i is equal to i1 plus i2 okay so this is the standard circuit diagram which is used to transmit the signal the part of the signal input from input to the output okay this is the situation see what happens here when it is positive when it is negative then diodes both d1 and d2 are in on state d1 and d2 are in on state and output is equal to input this is the situation now okay the same can be explained by taking uh, let it be something like a voltage uh, gain we can calculate control voltage we can calculate see these are calculations are not much important i am taking the direct expressions for the gain and control voltage we see so gain can be calculated by simply just uh, taking the um, thevenin's equivalent network so a is equal to gain is nothing but v naught by vs so that is equal to rc by rc plus r2 into rl by rl plus r3 by 2 this is what the a is okay so the same can be obtained by taking the thevenin's equivalent resistance 
this is R3 by 2 RL V0 So the Thevenin's voltage we are taking it as alpha Vs is it plus minus alpha into Vs. Okay, and the control voltage we can write it as control voltage Vc. Control voltage Vc is equal to Rc by R2 into R3 by R3 plus 2RL. R3 by R3 plus 2RL. Okay. So, where R3 is, what do you mean by R3? We have R2 and Rc in circuit diagram. R3 is equal to R1 plus Rf. Rf is the diode forward resistance. And similarly, R1 is equal to R2 parallel Rc. Because when we are going to calculate the Thevenin's voltage, equivalent voltage, then we need to short circuit the other voltages like control voltage or whatever the voltage we have in the circuit all these must be short circuited then we will be having the parallel combination of r2 and rc that we i named it as r1 and again r3 is equal to r1 plus r rf rf is the forward forward resistance of the diode okay so this is about the control voltage and gain calculation of this particular bidirectional diode sampling gates okay thank you